Hello everybody, time to look at the final jersey that I had hanging here on the set prior to previous weekend when I washed all these jerseys and yeah they're coming down soon for the next feature but I may just have a look at for you you guys as well because as I said before soccer jerseys is my prime uh, primary passion but I also like NHL jerseys and I have a few NFL and some even rugby jerseys so we might get into those but today's jersey is special because it's the first jersey that I got through this channel since I started this channel a subscriber offered this one to me of course it's Yanis from Greece and he sent me this really really nice uh, 2004 Greece home jersey it's not the one they wore in the final but in three games including the opening match against Portugal they wore the blue one. It was actually the first, the third and the fifth match they wore this blue version. Uh, the other one that they wore the final is just blue and white reversed, except of course for the crest. Now, I'm really happy to have a Greece jersey because at the moment I really want to branch out. I want to get as many nations as possible. I'm actually uh, wishing to post a map of uh, for which countries I have jerseys and for which I don't. So uh, simply for that reason, having Greece is great. I gotta be honest, during Euro 2004, I was not so enamored with, with the style of the Greek play, but I valued uh, what Rehagel achieved with this particular Greece team, um, that he got a team that no one counted on, got them well organized and won the trophy. In the end, it was an absolutely deserved victory. So uh, you cannot fault them for that, even though it was not in style as France uh, four years earlier. It was a deserved victory. They beat the best teams that everyone said at this particular tournament and the hosts twice. So you gotta do that to then you deserve to win. Well, um, the one thing that I always regret is that Greece has really many nice shirts, but this was unfortunately not one of them. It's a decent template um, at first, but there are some quirks in it. I actually don't mind this. Um, white outline it actually frames uh, the jersey nicely but the color is really weird if you look at it just cutting it off and uh, I haven't realized this when during, during the tournament I realized this when I cut this jersey and only after the first or second day that yeah this is not a v-neck color uh, or a round it is really cut like that and the first time that I realized something like that was at this year's World Cup the training jerseys by Adidas so um, that was something new, at least back then. Um, I like the really, I really like the blue shade. I'm not sure about the color. I think if they would have gotten here a round color and get rid of this, or just let those meet in a point, I think this would look much nicer. Uh, the numbering style was the same for all Adidas jerseys. If you look on the back, it actually doesn't look bad at all. I'm not sure why we have the white sliver here. You saw it also here. The only thing that I really find odd is that the bottom is white. And that is a little bit, um, at first, comes out of nowhere. You see here the white running down the sides, which is okay. But then it goes all the way on the back. And then even more so, it gets pointed on the front. So uh, this shaping, pull it up here. So you have the two white points. This is the weird stuff on this jersey. Again, this part and that the back is white. The color itself is wonderful. I sometimes wish that Greece, I mean, I understand this is kind, it's not really the Greek flag, but uh, it's kind of the logo for the Fair Federation. I think the Greek coat of arms would look really nice on these jerseys. Um, but maybe there are some regu regulations that, that prevent them from doing so. Um, it's not bad per se, but I think whenever there's such a rectangular shape, um, I always feel it could look nicer. But at least uh, it's not like the Swiss little Swiss flag, the tiny flag that is hidden. It's it's at least bold, and I again didn't consciously realize that this is just a rectangular until I had the jersey and I saw, hmm, this is odd. I'm used that there's some weirder shape there. I mean, look here at the Argentina. This is uh, all kinds of shapes. This is just a, a normal shape. But then, of, of course, 
geometry started in Greece, so maybe you gotta start somewhere. Many things started in Greece. I mean, Greece is the cradle of Western civilization, one would like, one often says. As I said, overall, uh, it is not the best shirt that Greece has ever worn. I think I really like actually the current away jersey, the blue one, uh, I like a lot. I like the ones that they were wearing at Euro 2012 um, a lot. I think even for 2006, they've got actually some nice ones. This one was the style that the one of the styles that the lesser Adidas teams get. And yeah, Greece proved that, you know, dish out something decent because we just might win it despite a not so nice template and when they did this template i know three other teams two for sure denmark when they switched right after euro 2 2004 they switched from hummel to adidas they got this this template in red and i also saw romania in uh, yellow and red here so those uh, were also wearing this template uh, I want to say Finland wore a very similar shirt, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Anyway, despite all its flaws, I'm absolutely happy to have this jersey. I gotta say I'm very proud. Uh, it is special to me because it's the first jersey that I got through the channel. For that, it will always have a special place in my collection. Um, and I actually wore it already a few times at, uh, at, at work and I have one guy He's half Austrian, half German. He always comments on my jerseys. When I pulled out the Greece jersey, um, he was a little bit dumbfounded. And I liked that a lot. He's a nice dude, but, um, you know, he always comments how I'm wearing teams that he's not very um, in favor of, like France or England. Why don't I wear Germany? I said, I would wear Germany. If you gift me a Germany shirt, I will wear Germany for you. <sighs> From yesterday. Well, let me know what you think about this jersey. As I said, very special jersey for me. Ah, I gotta say one thing. I Actually, when I researched this pattern and looked at the player issue shirts, part why this pattern is so wrapping around everywhere is because in the player version, they had, of course, the undershirt. And you could not see it as white in the player version. There was actually a mesh. And then there was the white coming out there so uh, if you look at a player version shirt it's a little bit less uh, white but more blue uh, here and I think this was intended to show off yes there is an undershirt that's what this pattern is all about here on the sides and on the, on the back I don't think there's much more to it than just showing off that we have something special and probably this is where this sliver is also come, come from this is my maybe a hang uh, tag on the player version I would like to get a hold of a player version of any 2004 shirt because all the 2004 shirts had something like that for Adidas. Well again let me know what you think about this jersey, whether you like it, whether you dislike it. Um, I like it a lot. As I said, um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and we're gonna look at something very interesting for sure very soon as well. I'm having New Jersey coming, so you gotta look at that one. Up until then, bye.